morning. Thanks for watching Dunsmore Moving Dirt. We just got moved in on a little old job here day four yesterday and got a little old pond here. It's not very big. And as you can tell, it hadn't had no water in it for a long time, but we hadn't had no rain for a long time around here. So uh, anyway, really the only bad thing about it is half the pond's on one per a landowner and this half over this side is on another one. They're in agreement and everything and everything's all right. But, uh, this landowner that lives up here on this side would like to see some water on their property or more of the tank on their property so i'm going to get in here and try to move this thing to the east some and see if i can't get some water storage over there so they can see it from the house and everything and he said he has seen the thing full so uh it's just hadn't rained he thinks it might seep a little bit over there where that Bermuda grass is. And he thinks what happened and when they built it, they just pushed the dirt on top of trees and everything else and didn't peel the grass off of it. And uh, it's really too late to fix that now unless I was to move the whole dam, but I may core into that slope a little bit and have a little dirt may kind of pack that over that in case it if that's where it is leaking that might slow it down a little bit but anyway i've got to try to figure out i think the the thing spills around over on this side and uh if i keep it spilling over there i've got to wrap this dam around till it gets on high ground over here and that could be a problem i just don't know yet till i sit up my level and see i mean here's a nice low area really that is the low area of the two sides but there's a fence right there and i've got crowded there but if i can get a hole up in here and put dirt here even if it did spill around this side as long as i didn't lower the water level on the neighbor a whole lot i think everything will be all right but uh, that's where we're at this morning, so we got to get some of this brush out of here and where I can see what's going on, but we'll set up the camera either out here under a shade tree or in the dozer or something, so uh, thanks again for watching this channel. If you had not subscribed, we should do that. Hit the like button, share it with all your friends, enjoy your comments and feedback. Ever have any questions about why I'm doing something or is there another way to do it? I, I don't mind answering questions and help people out and everything. That's really what I've made this channel for, to help people understand what's going on when they got uh, a bulldozer out there working on their place or they got questions about their property and everything. So anyway, we'll get started here and see what we can figure out.
build right here at the end of this dam here. Uh, that other side's a foot higher than this elevation here. What's happening, that hill gets so high over there that right there, if I let it spill over there, that's the water line where them flags are, and that's just not much, much hole. If I raise the, if, if I dig up any higher, I'm gonna have to raise that side up so it'll hold more water. I'm gonna knock down a tree here so I can shoot up here and see if I put a little dirt over there if I could raise the water level. I gotta watch the dams just got two and a half foot of freeboard. I could raise the dam I could raise the spillway to a six O, but that's not gonna gain a whole lot over here. Anyway, I'll have to do some more scratching on this one. I think I pretty well got it started the way I want to. I'm just going to tie into that dam there and extend it over to where that pile of dirt is and then the edge of the hole will be right here where that flag is and go around that bird house unless he wants to take it down. He pulled down the wrong one. There was another number that wasn't in the way. So, uh, and it will spill back on the other side of the old dam. it just comes a big rain. The way it looks, it's probably not going to run around the spillway very much, so if it can just stay full, it don't really matter. So, uh, I've got that all ripped up. We're next to this fence. I'm pushing this dirt, so maybe it will seep underneath it. Dug up a bumblebee nest in the end of this dam. They sure weren't mad to me. I'd have been a whole lot madder if I didn't have a cab.
Well, I just got through putting a little dirt over here. I need to raise that up about four tenths. There was a little bit of a ditch there, and I want to make my spillway a certain elevation, so see if I've got it yet. Here's a look from this end. It's not a big hole, but it's more than what they had. This is where the was the wall uh, before I started that right in front of us was where the old dam was across there so just don't have a lot of room I don't want to dig my hole above the spillway level and I'm just about out of room to put my dirt back there in the back I'm about six foot from the fence and he said I could get closer than that but I don't like to get any closer than that in case they ever got to work on the fence or something then the dirt if it sloughs off it won't cover it up but that'll make a nice little pond just for sit on the front porch and look at it and we can just get it to hold water or fill up i put a bunch of dirt right there where he thought that might be seeping underneath the dam so that might have helped that little situation This is good enough here if it spills around this side. It's it's good and flat. And I just have my doubts whether it's gonna spill very much. Well, that's about what I was wanting it to read, so. That pink flag you see up there, that's the same le level as we just shot, so. That's spillway level, which around here, they don't stay at that level very long, so really the water will be out of the hole up there but it like say it won't last it won't last long if we can keep it right at the edge of the hole that's that's about all we can ask for this flag right here is the level of the spillway then that one over there is so there'll be water around this little martin house there but that won't that won't hurt nothing That pile of dirt over there that's I'm gonna put some of that back on the dam then I want to run a, a little terrace out past that pile of dirt probably a hundred foot or 50 foot at least and that'll catch anything that comes off of that house in their yard and it'll hit that and direct it down toward the tank so see before this hole was not catching none of this up here. All that was going behind the dam. So, but now it's gonna catch it, catch a rain. He said he's gonna put some gutters on his house, which really it's all gonna come down this way anyway, unless he just wants it to keep from running off the porch and everything, so. All right, we're gonna get in the cab and do a little bit more. So we'll let y'all see that from the inside. Bye.
cotton shower here. It, we'll pay for it here in about two hours when the humidity gets so high. But about all I like this morning is I'm going to smooth up that top and pull that topsoil down a little bit on the front of that slope and try to get it to about where the water line will be. Then I'm going to set him some flags where the water line's going to be. I about got that. I'm going to smooth that up a little bit more. That little kicker over there will catch the water that comes down out of that yard and it'll hit that and direct it toward the tank. If I didn't put that there, some of it would go in behind and go around that deer feeder there. So that's what we're going to be doing this morning. We'll set the camera up and let you see something. them flags are 
the level of the water when it's spilled way full it's three foot of freeboard plus a little bit but that stuff's so dry it's going to settle down so uh, everything looks pretty good he'll throw in some grass seed on there and i think he's got a little old drag he can pull behind the side by side and kind of tidy things up a little bit and knock the cleat marks out of everything so anyway thank y'all for watching this channel if you hadn't subscribed wish you'd do that hit the like button share it with all your friends and enjoy your comments and your feedback on these videos so till the next job remember keep your blade shining your tracks clean bye